Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 34. Class 34. Let's go! Beginner. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome back and welcome to class 34. Aquí estamos con la clase 34. Class 34. Repasando. Reviewing with possessive adjectives today. Possessive adjectives. Adjectivos posesivos. Este, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Este es mi bolígrafo y ese es su bolígrafo. De él. This is my pen, and that is his pen. Mi libro está al lado de su libro, de ella. My book is next to her book. Book. My book is next to her book. Very good. Este es el libro de Jane, y este es su bolígrafo, y este es su anillo, y este es su teléfono. This is Jane's book, and this is her pen, and this is her ring, su anillo, her ring, and this is her telephone. Esta es la silla de Jack, y esta es la mesa, bueno, y esta es su mesa, y este es su libro, That is Jack's chair, and this is his table, and this is his book. Muy bien. Este es la grapadora de Alberto, y este es su lápiz, y este es su mechero, y este es su teléfono. This is Alberto's stapler. Alberto's stapler. Genitivo sajón. Alberto's stapler. This is Alberto's stapler, and this is his pencil, and this is his lighter, and this is his telephone. Okay, repeat after me. Conmigo en voz alta. Repeat. This is Leila's pencil, and this is her book, and that is her car. This is Leila's pencil, and this is her book, and that is is her car. Muy bien. This is Fitz's book, and this is his pencil, and this is his pen. Muy bien. This is Fitz's book, this is Fitz's book, and this is his pencil, and this is his pencil, and this is his pen. Muy bien. This is my book. This is my book. Conmigo. And this is my pencil. And this is my pencil. Este es mi lápiz. And this is my pen. And this is my pen. Muy bien. This is our class. Es nuestro clase. This is our class. And this is our lesson. And this is our hour. Nuestra hora. Our hour. Con la misma pronunciación. Our hour. Nuestra hora. Our hour of class time. This is our hour of class time. Mm. That is Natasha's car. And that is her dog. And that is her house. Repeat. That is Natasha's ca car. And that is her dog. And that is her house. Very good. Muy bien. Is Holland famous for its canals or for its lakes? Please answer, answer my question. Is Holland famous for its canals or for its lakes? It's famous for its canals. Yes, it's famous for its canals. Yes. Is Germany famous for its beer? Or for its wine. Germany is famous for its beer. It's. Germany, it's. Famous for its beer. 
It's famous for its beer. It's not famous for its wine. Germany is famous for its beer. Yes. Is Jerez famous for its sherry or for its rum? Jerez is famous for its sherry. Jerez. Que en inglés Jerez es sherry. Entonces, claro. Jerez is famous for its sherry. Is Salamanca famous for its aqueduct or for its university? Salamanca is famous for its university. Is Santiago de Compostela famous for its cathedral or for its walls? Murallas. Is Santiago de Compostela famous for its cathedral or for its walls? It's famous for its cathedral. It's also famous for its students. Los alumnos que están ahí. La universidad. And it's famous for its rain. La lluvia, ¿no? Sí. Que llueve mucho ahí. Mm -hmm. Is Duesto famous for its wine or for its university? It's famous for its university. Is Ávila famous for its aqueduct or for its walls? Ávila is famous for its walls. Is Guisando famous for its bulls or for its shoes? It's famous for its bulls. Is Elche famous for its shoes or for its bulls? Elche. Elche is famous for its shoes. Yes. Is Valdepeñas famous for its wine or for its beer? It's famous for its wine. Yes, of course. Muy bien. Y la, la Rioja también, ¿no? La Rioja. Is La Rioja famous for its wine or for its beer? La Rioja, claro. It's famous for its wine. Está famoso por su vino. It's famous for its wine. Very good. All right. Word of the day. Yes, you heard it. It is time for the word of the day. The word of the day today is club. Club. Que significa varias cosas en inglés. Club como club. En español, club. Club. Y se escribe así, club. Por ejemplo, un club de deporte. A sports club. Como un grupo, a club. Athletics club. Pero también cuando dices palo de golf, cuando digamos palo, no digamos stick en inglés, sino club, golf clubs. He comprado palos de golf. I bought golf club, or I have bought golf clubs. Golf clubs, palos de golf, golf clubs. Y si voy a un club de golf, I go to a golf club, and I use my golf clubs. Tenemos, los, bueno, una palabra que usamos, que sirve para las dos cosas. Go, a golf club. Pero se pronuncia club, no es club. Club, uh, uh, uh. Es casi como un A. Uh. Club, club, club. Club. Golf club, sports club, club. Ok. The word of the day, club. Como club, pero en inglés se pronuncia club. Club. Conmigo, club. Very good. Ok. Aquí en la mesa hay muchas cosas. There are many things on the table. There are many things on the table. Ask me. me. Bueno, hay dos lados de la... Bueno, hay cuatro lados, podemos decir. Pero there are things that are on my side of the table. And there are things that are on the other side. There are things that are on my side, and there are things that are on the other side. This side, este lado, and that side, ese lado. So ask me if my book is on this side of the table or the other side of the table. Ask me if it is on this side of the table or the other side. Kyle, is your book on this side of the table or the other side of the table? It's on this side of the table. It's on my side. Está en mi lado de la mesa. It's on my side of the table. Okay. Ask me if the microphone is on my side of the table or the other side of the, the table. Kyle, 
Is the microphone on your side of the table or the other side of the table? Well, it's on my side of the table, of course, because I'm speaking into the microphone. Lado, side. It's on my side. It can't be on the other side. It's on my side. Ask me if my pen is on my side of the table or the other side of the table. Kyle, is your pen on your side of the table? Or the other side of the table. It's on the other side. It's on the other side. No puedo tocarlo porque está, está al otro lado. It's on the other side. Yes. I have to get it later. It's on the other side of the table. Mm. También podemos decir nuestro lado. Our side. It's on our side. Digamos también side. Cuando hablamos de equipos, he's on our side. He's on our side. He's not on the other side. He's on our side. Okay. Hay también en la mesa un globo. There's a globe. A globe on the table. Ask me if the globe is on our side or their side of the table. Kyle, is the globe on your side? Well, bueno, is, is it on our side? Si tú, imagínate que tú, tú estás aquí a mi lado. Are you, is the globe on our side or on their side? It's on our side. It's not on their side. It's on our side. It's on our side of the table. It is. The globe is on our side of the table. Okay. Be careful with there. The, the pronunciation, there. I que sacar la lengua. Th 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 there. And I'm moving my vocal cords. Th there. It's on their side of the table. I que sacar la lengua. Si no, tienes el sonido de de. Y quiero la z. Th th there. TH, que es como una z en español, pero con las cuerdas vocales moviendo. Th there. Their side. It's the globe is on their side of the table. It's not on our side of the table. The computer is on our side of the table. It's not on their side of the table. Okay? Muy bien. Vocabulary of the day. Okay, yes, it's time for a little vocabulary. The vocabulary of the day today. Empezamos con la palabra... Necesario. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Necesario. Necessary. 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 Eso es. Conmigo, una vez más. One more time. Necessary. Muy bien. Persona. Person. Person. One person and two... People, SOS. One person, two people. Ten thousand people. One hundred people. One person. Person, person, person. Pobre. Pobre. Bueno, en inglés se dice poor. Poor, pero hay dos pronunciaciones. Se puede decir poor o también poor. 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 Okay? Either pronunciation works. Ambos. You can choose. You can use either one. Poor or poor. Problema? Problema? Problem. Problem. Eso es. Problem. Cerrando la boca con la M, por favor. Problem. There's a problem. Problem, como David Beckham, cerrando la boca. Eso es muy, muy importante. Problem, a problem. Radio. All right. En inglés, qué fácil. Radio. I love the radio. Radio gets results. Radio. <laughs> radio. Ray, en inglés, ray. A, A. Not, not ra. Ray. A, A as in Alicante. <laughs> A. Radio. 
radio. No es radio, sino radio. Necessary. Ok, conmigo, una vez más pronunciando. Necessary. Necessary. Muy bien. Person. Person. Poor or poor. Poor or poor. Problem. Cerrando la boca. Problem. Very good. Radio. Very good. Very good. Ok. Yes, it is time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to practice with some numbers. Get out a pen and a pencil. Saca un boli y un trozo de papel. Un poco de papel. Write down, apunta, los números. Write down the numbers. Okay? Are you ready? Write down the numbers and then you can read them back to me. Okay? So here we go. The first number. 234. Now, please remember, hundred and, hundred and, hundred and. Siempre así. Another is 234. 542. 782. 102. 723. Muy bien. Now let's check. The first number. What was the first number? En voz alta. Eso es. 234. Very good. And the second number? 542. Muy bien. Y la tercera? The third number? 732. 82. Very good. And the fourth number? Four. Uh, uh, disculpa. 102. Uno, cero, dos. One, zero, two. 102. Correct. And finally, 723. Muy bien. Tres más. Three more. 980. 918 716 Okay, now let's check. The first number, 980, 80, 80. Teta, 80, 80, teta. Es muy importante la entonación que uso. The second number, 918. Da, da, 18, 18, da, da, es un cuestión de entonación. 918. And the third number, en voz alta. Muy bien, 716. Very good. We're all out of time. So I'm going to finish now. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>